If you're a more refined guitarist and you enjoy playing over blues grooves and lead guitar, then I think you're really gonna enjoy this video because in this one, I'm gonna share with you three epic licks from J.J. Kale's iconic recording, Call Me The Breeze. Now, of course, this song has been covered by a lot of artists, you know, John Mayer has a version and uh, Eric Clapton and Leonard Skinnerd. If you wanna learn Leonard Skinnerd's version, I have a lesson on my channel, but this one's gonna focus on the original. And J.J. Kale, he played it in E and just used a capo on the second fret. So he's got that rhythm and blues groove, you know, there's a... But with the capo, it makes it in the key of F sharp. That's your root note there, the second fret on the low E. So we'll be in the key of F sharp for these licks. Here's the first one. All right, so I'm bending up here the note B up to C sharp on the 12th fret. And he'll do just a slow bend, like, he's almost like kind of just dragging you along. It's like, is it out of tune? And then finally he gets it in tune. And that's real expressive when he does that. Now it starts rhythmically on the and of one. Now I talked about this in the rhythm lesson, but I'm counting it, you know, just one, two, three, Four. Remember, it's J.J. Kale, so it's very laid back, and then you have that 16th note subdivision, so 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, so it starts on the and a 1, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, then on beat 4, we'll go 4 E and a, and that's just A, B, A, and then F sharp, E sharp, F sharp, da da da, just, or you know, the frets here are 11, 10, 11, so one, and two, and a three, e, and a four, e, and a one, e, and a, and that there, Clapton would do that all the time, like in his blues playing, like you hear that in Crossroads, the classic blues recording with Cream. You know, that little, he's in the key of F sharp, but he's using, it's called the leading tone, just a half step below the root note there. And that's it. So you'll notice that that's your F sharp blue scale. And then he's, he's getting this one note that is not in the blues scale. So it's, it's real tasty there. Here it is one more time with the rhythm. So it doesn't take a lot there. And again, he's using the notes from the blues scale with one little cheat note. Now, if you don't know your blues scale yet, just go to johnmclennan.com slash blues scales right now and download my free blues scale guide. And on this, you're gonna see the exact patterns that all these players use, you know, from Eric Clapton to BB King to JJ Kale when they solo. And you gotta know that, that's like, step one, okay? And then you'll start seeing how all these licks fit in to the scale. So just go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales and grab that as my gift to you. Here's lick number two. All right, so again, some more great choices and I'm, I'm, I'm really visualizing this chord here, F sharp, you know, I think a lot about the cage system as well, you know, all the scales and chords blend together for me. So here I've got just a nice little, and he would do that all the time, you know, I, I think of that as almost like Sultan's a swing, right? I forget the exact lick, I haven't played in a while, but it's something like that. Okay, so then from there, 11, 11, that's fourth string to third string, then back to fourth string. Then a little bluesy bend on 10 there. So. And then. Right? 11, 11, 11, then 10 on the second string, then 11 on the third string, then nine. Okay, again, an interesting choice in the key of F sharp. 
That's a G sharp against an F sharp. But da 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 da. It's just it's just not as common of a note you would hear when you think of you know typical blues scale, right? Like you'd have notes like that. But then that note there, oh, it's just super tasty. And Clapton would do the same thing. He did this in Layla. He'd use that. It's the second or the ninth over the one chord. Now, rhythmically, it's coming in. It's starting on the E of four. So one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, E and a, right there. And then one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four and one. boo da doo da here it is with the groove. All right, this third lick goes higher up the neck. And again, he's breaking a lot of the rules. He's using the blues scale as the basis, but then he's getting a lot of other cool notes in there that you're gonna wanna check out. Here's this third lick. All right, so this is coming right out of that standard blues box position here in the key of F sharp. We're gonna start with C sharp, F sharp, C sharp. Then we're gonna walk down A, G sharp, F sharp, okay? Now that is again using that, that ninth against there, added in with the blue scale. And then it does the same thing on three strings in a row. The same movement, so. And that comes from a lot of like old school guitar boogie songs and stuff where they would play, you know. You know, you know Buddy Guy did that a lot as well. Then, oh, love that part. So that's F sharp, E, F sharp, then A with that little push up there, little blues band. Da, da, da. Now, rhythmically, it's again starting on the E of four. So, four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one. So those final bends there are eighth notes, four and one, and then you just land on beat one, but all the rest are 16th notes, the rest of the notes. So four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four and one. Now you'll hear JJ Kale on the recording, you know, like the first lick we learn where you just get these slow bends and then he goes up high and just ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba, you know plays like a big long fast 16th note run that starts high and goes low and so these are just things that he would do that really made the recording you know you're constantly like cruising along on the groove but then you have a lot of variation that just keeps it interesting and a lot of different sounds here's that lick one more time <laughs> So those are some quick tips to take a look at J.J. Kale's lead guitar style. Now make sure you understand how this connects with the blues scale. And to master that anywhere on the fretboard, go to johnmclennan.com slash bluescales and download my PDF guide. It's gonna show you the exact same patterns that all these legends are using. As always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll really like this one next.